Hello, my name is Chris. In this tutorial, I will show you the video color swipe effect. Uh, as you can see, the difficulty level is uh, well, medium. You have to know uh, your way around the Photoshop and After Effects. So you have to know how to use the pen tool and how to um, animate layers. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to um, change the color from the car in the video shots. Um, after that, I will show you how to make the slides uh, for the phone, which are uh, which is the same process. Um, what we need is a shot uh, which which is on a tripod, so it's stable and still. And um, be sure not to overlap uh, the car with your phone. So uh, keep space for that. I imported these shots into After Effects. I'm going to pre-compose it so it's on its own composition. Give it a, the name color swap effect. Press OK. Put the slider back so you only got one frame selected. And I'm going to export it, it with Media Encoder. I'm going to make a JPEG out of it. And then I'm going to import it into uh, Photoshop. So uh, what we have to do in Photoshop first is to um, cut out the color layer of the car. And I do this with the pen tool. The better you do this, the better the end result will be. Go around the car, go around the color. And uh, I'm going to speed up this process. So as you can see now, uh, the whole color is selected. I'm going to press uh, Control Enter to select it. And um, I'm going to copy it to a new layer like this. Uh, then we have to cut out the windows and the light. So um, we're going to do that now. I put the mirror on a new layer um, and then I cut out the rest and throw it away. So the mirror and the, uh, the color shell, we have to uh, merge. So it becomes one layer again. So what we are left with is just uh, a shell of the color. Uh, we're gonna copy this layer and we're gonna um, take the color out of it. So we go to U and saturation and desaturate the image. Then we go to levels and we're going to make it as black as possible. You can see we're going to make it as black as possible, but still keep the shadow details. See in this, in this instance in black, they're lighter. Press OK and um, make another copy of the layer. And this one we're going to make white. So we're going to desaturate it again by pressing Ctrl U and then desaturate it by pressing Ctrl and L. We're going to pop up the levels and then we're going to make it all white. We have to make another um, layer so we're going to create a new layer and we're going to make a selection of the cutout so we're going to press control and the selection and we're going to fill this with white on a new layer we're going to put this layer on the multiply and the black one we're going to put on screen we have to make one more layer. It's a, an empty layer and we're going to connect it to the white layer and we're going to put it on top of the white layer. And by clicking Alt and in between the layers, uh, this arrow appears. When you fill it with color, 
only the parts of the white layer are visible. Okay, now you can uh, make all the colors you want or you can import some uh, designs and put them on the same way with uh, the arrow in between. And you can import them and then you can adjust them to fit good around the car. Okay, and then we also have to make uh, the final the layer. I'm ending with the color of the car. Then I can use a shot when the car is moving. So when you're not doing this, it doesn't matter. But I'm ending with uh, the original color of the car. Then we're going to save the Photoshop file. We go to After Effects and we're going to import the file. We're going to take the Photoshop layer and put it on top of the video. Then we open up the layer, the composition, and we're gonna turn off the bottom uh, layer, which is the screenshot. So now we're only left with the effect. When we open this composition, you see there are all the layers we created in Photoshop. So now we have to animate the layers in. Uh, we're going to put them in good order. At the bottom we are putting the first layer and the second layer on top of that and the last layer is on top. So we're going to select all the layers and we're going to take them just behind the tracking mask. And is, as you can see uh, some layers are just fill layers like uh, the green, the white and the yellow color. So they are wider but the designed layers like the gravity and the stripes are only as wide as the car is. So they are not as big. So they don't have to go all the way back. But you, you will see what I mean in a minute. Uh, first we go to the endpoint of the stripe layer and we put it that it's all over the car. And we put a marker and we put a marker on the beginning. And the beginning is, we begin where the layer is just behind the car. So, as you can see, there is the motion. The layer is animated. There's one little thing I want to adjust and that's the, the color. The color is a bit too dark, so I'm going to take the limitry color and put the brightness uh, 0.5 up, 0.4. So, you see, that's a little, that's just to adjust it a bit. Okay, back to the animation. So, um, as you can see, it, uh, we're going to ease the ease the, the markers. So it moves with a nice motion. And I also want to, don't want to have this hard line. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put on the motion blur uh, for the layer and for the whole uh, composition. So now you can see we have some nice motion blur. When we go back to the effect and we render it out, you will see It's looking like it's looking on the phone. There it comes. Okay, well, that is the process. So we'll now have to um, animate the other layers. So one thing, uh, so one thing I um, you have to keep in mind is you animate the layer that is coming in and not the one that is leaving. So in this instance, so you animate the graffiti layer.
So there it is. Put it in the right spot. Easy ease. So we get a nice motion. Put some motion blur on it. And as you can see, So that's basically it. We now have to animate uh, all the layers um, so that they line up with the movement of the finger. So I'm gonna speed up this process. So when you're done animating all the layers, this is the result. And we can now export this layer and put it in uh, Adobe Premiere to make our video. Okay, then there's one more thing I want to show you and that's how I make this slide for on the phone. Well, that's exactly the same process as we did uh, with uh, changing the color of the car. Uh, only I took a picture I had from the car and I'm changing the colors. I forgot the mirror, as you can see. I put them on other wheels and then I made the slides and just put them on the phone. And I swiped to the photos on my phone and that's the whole process. So here's the end result. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up, follow my channel and um, thank you for watching.